Hi, this is my uh, GFI that you can see here. And I just want to show that this one does not work. Really, I have a light here, as you can see here. Uh, if you see double, it's because I'm next to a mirror. But if you look at the light, okay, and you see what I'm doing here, I'm taking this screwdriver and I try to test it. Okay, press it, nothing work. Here it actually work, but when you press this one to test, it doesn't work. So this GFI has to be replaced because when you test it, it has to be latched. So I just want to show you how I'm going to replace this uh, GFI outlet. I just want to say a couple of words regarding the GFI operation. There is two buttons here. One of them is reset and one of them is test reset, okay? So this one, this button, when you actually press it, it has to disconnect the GFI outlet from the appliance connected to it, which means you have to disconnect power. And when you press the reset, it will connect power. So what happened with this GFI, the test, of, the test functionality of it uh, does not work. So the first thing you have to do is to disconnect this GFI from the power. So if I'm looking here, I can see that the bath GFI is 9. Here is the 9-1, I'm actually going to disconnect it. This is the breaker switch for the GFI. So that the most important is to disconnect power to the outlet you're working on. So as you can see, okay, so that there is no electricity here. No power here, so just remove it. And I can start working on the issue. So first thing I have to do is just to remove the outlet to release it from the wall. So that's the GFI here, as you can see. Let me show you from close proximity what's going on. So if you look here, you can see there are two white, okay, connected to it. Okay, that's two neutral. And here, look like two hot. So good we have a mirror so we can see both sides, you know, from here and from here at the same time. So. Let me talk to you about what happening here. You can see here, there is a two neutral and there is two hot. So if you flip it, okay, and what you want to look carefully, look at it, there is a load here. And here, it's difficult to see, but you can see there is here a call line. So this is really the source and this is the secondary, okay. And you can ask me where is the secondary. The secondary, I'll show you, it's in the other bathroom. Or it's in another outlet. So let's see if it's another bathroom is there. I'm here in the other bathroom, but as you can see here, there is no really, I have to actually mark a GFI, but there is no GFI here. But this is the secondary of the other GFI. So this, this outlet is really connected. It's feeding from the GFI you saw in the other bathroom. This is the new GFI that I purchased 15 amps. Okay, as you can see, it's a little bit difficult to see, but you can see it have a test and you have a reset. Okay. The LED light indicates the current state of the GFI. There are three states, green light, red light, no light. And if I flip it, you can see the yellow one. This is the going to the secondary. So sometimes you connect this GFI with no secondary so you don't need to you don't need to cut it. Okay, so this here is where is the line coming from. As you can see here, if I flip it like that, you can see this is the line. That's from here actually the wire, the hot wire coming from the panel and they're going from here, they're going to the secondary. So we need the secondary, we'll cut it very soon. But I just want to show you how to replace it without making mistakes because if you make mistakes and you're not an electrician, it's going to be difficult for you to find out why is this mistakes. And if you call the electrician to to do it for you, it will cost you over $100, $200, sometimes, sometimes even $300. So 
So what I want you to do, I want you to do it yourself and I want you to do it properly. Okay, so that's why I want you to follow what I'm doing here. So another thing I want to say about this uh, GFI outlet, okay, it's symmetric. It doesn't matter if you will connect it this way or that way it's going to be in the outlet. So again, the, the most important thing is that these two connections here, the contact here, will have the line, okay, the hot line that's coming from the panel and the secondary will connect here. So that's the most important. So it doesn't matter if you put it like that or like that. Because as you can see, if you look carefully here, you can see the test or the reset was written in two ways. One, the right way and the one it's opposite. So if I can flip it like that, you will still be able to read the test and reset here. So that's what I'm saying. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to disconnect the line, okay, here as you can see the line that's coming from the panel, these two wires, which means this is neutral, that is the heart, I'm going to disconnect them. I'm going to leave the secondary here and I'm going to disconnect the ground, you see, that's very important, the ground. So these three wires, firstly I'm going to disconnect and I will connect it to this. Okay, where is the line should be, which is here. As you can see, if you look carefully, you can see here line, okay? And the ground, which is, should be here, okay? Okay, the first thing I'm going to remove the neutral. Remove the ground. The ground is a little bit struggled here because I will cut it. If you cannot take it by force, just cut it. Okay. And here is the other wire, which is the hat that's coming that's coming from the panel. Okay. So after we disconnect these three wires, okay, the heart, the neutral, and the ground that coming from the panel, we left the two wires that's going to the secondary, as you know. If you look here, really, you might uh, be wondering when you have to connect the heart and when you have to connect the neutral. So I will tell you now, okay, there is here uh, two place here you can see in the outlet you can see these and these and these input okay you can see this one is a short one okay always the short one is where the heart coming or for me it's in the right here is the long one that's the that's always the neutral and this is always the ground so that's the way if you flip it like that guess what this is going to be the heart and here is going to be neutral. It's very important to follow. The other thing that you, you, you can see, but it's really difficult to see. Okay, you can see the screw, the color here is silver. Okay, this screw color here, it's silver, correct? And if you flip it here, you can see the screw color here is gold. Okay, so where is the gold? Is the heart going? Where is silver? It's the neutral. That's just to make it sure that you won't be confused. So first thing I'm going to connect the neutral here. Okay, I really already opened the... released the screw here, so now I'm going to tie the screw. You really need to make sure that it's going inside till the end. Okay, so as you can see, it's already in. Now I'm going to connect the, new, the hat to this place to here, where it should be. You see, it's golden here. Okay, 
and this should be easy. You just take this wire and you just push it. It'll be difficult, you don't see what I'm doing here now. One second. I'm just attach it strongly. Okay, so until now we connect these two wires. The hot the hot which is here and the neutral which is here. Okay, so I want to show from close proximity how it is connected. So if we look at it from close distance and what I did until now, I just disconnect the two wires, which is the source that coming from the panel to the outlet, to the G5 outlet. Here is the neutral and you can see the color of the screw is silver. And here is the hot. As you can see, the color is golden, okay, it's gold. And what's happening now, we need to connect really the ground where to here, where is the green screw here. Because always ground connected to the green screw that is actually code. Like this, I connect the, the source, remember I have the secondary and I really need to connect the secondary, so I have to go and remove this yellow uh, tape, you know, I have to remove it. Okay, and this is really interesting to remove stuff like that. Um, you must remove it. Okay, because now you really don't going to have any confusion here. Okay, so we know that this is the secondary and we don't going to have any confusion. So now it's safe to go and disconnect these, these two wires from the bed GFI. It's very old GFI, it's probably 10 years. I will show you why. Okay. If you can see here, there is no line to tell you if it's working or not. Okay, so that's why I really try to see if there is a light or there is no light. Okay, there is, should be an LED, small LED. I'll show you after that. It should be turned on when this GFI works properly. So this GFI is very, very old, probably like I believe over 10 years or so. So now I'm going to connect these two wires. Remember, the black has to go there's the black, you know, in the side of the black, which is the hot, and the white in the side of the of the side of the white, which is natural here. So not to make confuse. Okay, that's 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 a very important thing. In addition, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open, release the screw here a little bit, just a little bit. And here I will release the screw a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're just going to push these two wires as possible inside. See, this one is a little bit too big. The expose wire is a little bit too big, so I can just cut it a little bit. Because you really don't need something big like that. Okay, and this one is also a little big. Okay, what you need here is really 3 eighths of an inch, something like that, or maybe one centimeter. Okay, now just to push it in. Really have struggled here because this is very old wires and I'm going to tight it. So you can see the two white here are in the same are in the same place. Okay, so now the hat is the other part that has to be connected. You see here, the hat is a little bit here outside. We're going to push it very, very soon. But the second one, I'm going to take this, this is the ground here. Now I'm going to take the hat and just push it here. Okay. A little bit tricky. But you're going to make it. Put 
Now when you tighten it, really tighten it strongly. You really need to tighten it. Otherwise it might be released. Okay. Now you can see this one is a little bit, a little bit outside. You don't really want it to be outside of the screw. So you just open it again. Release it. And you see how, tall, how long it is? That was for the old one. The person who installed it didn't install it properly. And thus you cut what you don't really need it. I'm going to cut it like this. Now I can put it again. So now it's fully in. And remember to tighten it. Okay, so we finished now to connect, but now what's left now is the most important, is the ground, which is going here. Okay, so the, the, the exposed wire here is the ground, really. And what you have to do, you have to do a loop, okay? That with the clock. So I'm going to make a loop here. See, I make almost a fully loop, but I'm going to close it. But you see, I have to go with the clock because when I'm going to tighten it, it will tighten with the clock on it. You cannot see probably what I'm doing, but I'm just trying to put this wire around. Okay, I put it. Okay, I put it here already. You can see it's here. Okay, so if it's here, I just now need to close it tightly. So you can see what I did here, I actually put the wire, the ground wire around this screw, under the screw really, and now what I have to do, I just have to close it tightly with the clock. So the loop that I did is with the clock. So let me close it tightly and show you what's happening. So okay, so you can see here, what I'm doing, I'm taking a screwdriver and I just tighten it quite tight. Okay, so this wire, okay, the ground wire will never get out. Okay, so the only thing left now to do is just to pull it in. Okay, just to take this and just push it inside. Okay, and that's what we're going to do next. So we finished the connect everything here. So before we're going to push it here inside and install it inside the box here, what I want to do is first I want to test it if it's work because that's the most important. Don't push it in and close it. First test it to see if it's working. So first thing to do is to connect back electricity to the GFI by turn on the breaker switch here. Okay. We're back here after we turn on the power and I just want to show you something. You see the LED here? It's not on. doesn't look like it's on. And that's the way it's coming because these uh, GFI come from the factory that you can only reset it after you put power to it. So I want to show you there is a power to this um, outlet, okay, GFI, which is here. Here is the power really, this wire here as you can see, here 120 volt, but here there is zero now. Okay, and I want to show you with voltmeter what's going on, just for you to understand what's going on, because the moment you connect it, it will not work until you reset this GFI, and that's what I want to show you. So what I want to show you, I want to show you the proof that there is 120 volts. So the way to do it is to take the lead, one of them, put it in a well, is the source, okay, and the other one to the ground. As you can see, there is 122 volt, okay, that's coming from the panel. If you put it here, you're going to see zero. There is nothing. When it will work, you will see immediately 120 here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to connect an appliance like a light. I'm going to connect this light here, as you can see. Okay, 
say this is light. I'm going to connect it here. I can connect it to the secondary, it doesn't matter which one. It will connect. As you can see, let's see, I'm not sure if it's on or off here. Let me verify it first. So I connected the light here, the light that you see here. I connected to the bottom of this GFI because I want to, to see what I'm doing here. Okay, this is the test and this is the reset. Okay, I will try to press the test to see what's happening. But if I try to press the reset, as you can see, it's working. And it's very difficult to see, but the light is really turned on. If I'm going to close this light, maybe you will see it, it's here. Difficult to see, but it's here, okay? Maybe if I turn off the light here, Okay, if you turn on the light here, so you can see there is a green light here that show you that it's working. So what I want to do now, I want to test it, you know, by pressing the test, you need to latch. Okay, as you can see, a latch, that's very important. Now, I know that that's the situation when it should work, the GFI, like, uh, the current is overflow or is above threshold, it must work, okay? Or when you have current to the ground, okay? So here I'm going to put it back by pressing the reset, which is here, I believe. Okay, as you can see the reset is coming. And now there is a green light here. You will see only when I turn off everything here. So let's disconnect this. Put it here. Difficult to see that one, but if I will close the light here for a second, you can see the red light is the green light is here. That's the way it should work. So here we are in the other bathroom where the outlet here, as you can see, is feeding from the other from the GFI that you've just installed. And I just want to show you what happened when I'm actually pressing the test button in GFI. So here we, here we are again, okay, and what I want to do, I want to create the situation that the GFI is working, which means it shut down power to the primary and to the secondary. So I'm actually want to test it. To test it, I actually have to press here in the button called test. And test it until you hear this latching um, noise. Let's go to see what happened there. So here we are back to the bathroom, to the secondary, and you can see it shut down the electricity. So that's the way it protect the human being when there is an overflow of the current going to ground or to human being body, it will shut himself immediately. Uh, it will actually shut the electricity immediately. So after you test it, you must reset it. Important, very important. You can see a red light coming here and then it will switch to green so the only thing left to do is just to push it okay and you have to be careful when you push it i already put it on test that electricity won't be here okay but it still has power on the primary so just push it in which is going to be a bit tricky The only, le the only thing left is this cover. That's it, done. Let me show you from close proximity the way it looks. So that's the way it looks, and don't forget to reset. Now it's green light is here, just make sure. As you can see, green light.
And remember not to forget to put a GF5 protected outlet. Thank you very much for watching this video.